my Netflix special. I couldn't believe it myself when I heard that Netflix was giving me a special. Yes, a special discount on my subscription that's a couple dollars lower than if I signed up today, says my other half. I guess it's because we signed up in the aughts and still have a DVD queue. Oh, you didn't think I was saying, well, that's an interesting thought too. Can you imagine Netflix giving me a show? I secretly dream of doing stand-up comedy, so I'm working on my act. Acting as if my social anxiety might step aside long enough to deliver a catchy monologue. My next dream is a costume character at a theme park, which makes sense for the previous. But I hear it gets too warm inside. One day I'll tell you about how I rented a costume with a big head for a few days and dared this dream. What would your Netflix show be? Pay attention to what stirs within as you answer, because this may lead you to the root of untapped creative energy just waiting to be unleashed. What if? I don't know why I came into this world with the Jester's firmware, but I know when I'm in sync with it, I'm most at home. Disclaimer. I have no affiliation with Netflix other than an addiction to binge-watching certain shows and reordering the DVD queue after other half keeps pushing mine down the list. Yes, member. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Your support is why Creativity Portal continues to grow after 23 years online. In this time, I've experienced just the tip of the iceberg's worth of the different and astounding ways creativity surfaces in our lives. I've also met so many beautiful, brilliant souls following their passions and doing work that is so needed in our world. Last month, I published a Halloween poem written by then 80-year-old Nanette Jones, who submitted it 15 years ago for a responsive writing activity. When I shared her poem then, Nanette sent me this. How happy you have made me. I have not written a poem since I was in the third grade. I had to read my poem in class, and a boy whose name I will never forget said, Nanette's poem doesn't rhyme. It hurt my feelings. I was very introverted at the time. I've come a long way since then. I was so moved by Nanette's experience. This is what I wish for all who come here thirsty for creative fulfillment. Creative dreams are not far-off fantasies for any of us. Change dreams to passion and follow that energy into the crevices of your days. Allow the ardor to take root and grow and soon it will make its own space and pull you in, offer you a seat, and make you feel at home. I hope you stick around. I've been working on something fun for December that I'll share more about in a couple of weeks. I've been purposely knitting a narrative around here that I hope you key into because stories are a medium that allow us to experience more of this amazing existence through the eyes of others and helps fuel that inspiration around what if. Here's two more brilliant souls I've had the pleasure to meet along the way, among numerous others I'll introduce you to in time. New Shoes is Valerie Day. Day is a musician, mother, educator, neuroscience, psychology geek, and creative explorer in front of the Grammy-nominated band New Shoes in the 80s with pop hits in heavy rotation on the radio and MTV. Today, Day helps growing musicians navigate the business in sustainable ways. Artist and actor Angela Cartwright. Child actor Cartwright appeared in Make Room for Daddy, Lost in Space, My Three Sons, The Sound of Music, and other films and TV shows, and has gone on to develop a rich artistic life. You'll find more information about these brilliant souls in the description. Thank you for listening today. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Funmire. Talk soon.